Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Undertale. Last we left off, we had our first encounter with uh, the Captain Undyne, uh, Captain of the Guard. Uh, we encountered her on like this weird like bridge thing. A lot of a lot of spikes, a lot of spears were uh, were chucked at me. A lot of spears were also sprouted from the ground. Well, not for, really from the ground, but from the bridge itself. But anyway. Uh, she destroyed the bridge, and now we are down here, uh, in trash land. Also, we found out that, um, well, firstly, we went on our date with Papyrus. We visited his house. Uh, and yeah. Uh, we also found out that he's basically trying to get us to get captured by Undyne. Or killed. One of those things. But anyway, we're down here now. And I'm very curious as to what's down here, aside from garbage. Oh, it's a garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Garbage. A trash heap. Your persistent garbage habit shows no signs of payoff. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> That is one odd bike horn. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Oh, okay. What was this, a cooler? It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Eh, fuck it. I got the astronaut food. Uh, oh, another thing, too, um, we encountered this, like, legendary artifact, this, like, red orb-looking thing, and a doggo took it. So, I don't know what's gonna happen now that a dog has a supposed legendary artifact with him. So, yeah, hope that doesn't come to bite me in the ass later. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks, uh, cover the edges. Uh, I wonder what the anime, what's the anime? Oh. Wait, it's the dummy. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you do you beat do you want to beat it up? Sure. You tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. Uh oh. Dummy mad. Fool! Do you think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until you came along. They were a shy sort, living a lonely life in the ruins. They saw you and hoped you might talk to them, perhaps strike up a friendly conversation. But no, you ran away and broke their little ethereal heart. Despicable, despicable, despicable. Human, I'll show you what a real heartbreak is. Mad dummy blocks the way. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. <laughs> uh oh. Ow! Oh, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget that I said anything about magic. All right, so I think I get the the deal with this. Ah, shit. Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with a with the same expression. Mad dummy glares into the mirror. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Uh oh, fuck.
The mad dummy is doing an armless ska dance. I'll be able to do like one more round of combat before I have to heal. Even the dummies <laughs> bobbing his head to this uh, to these fancy beats. Mad dummy is getting caught all over the dialogue box. God damn it, dummy! Huh? Yeah, I guess I'll that I'll avenge my cousin. Mad Dummy is getting caught all over the dialogue box again. What was that name again? Oh, he doesn't even remember his cousin's name. Shameful. All right, so I have to. Hey guys! Uh oh. Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! Oh. <laughs> now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. Fill the room. Dummy bots. Oh. Mad dummy's bossing around its bullets. I'm probably gonna go ahead and heal. Smells like a clothing store. Oh, final attack. Plus the regular dummies. What's going on here? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Jesus. No, no way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. Oh. I've got knives. Oh, shit. He's got a knife. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever. Forever. Forever! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh? oh. What the heck is this? Uh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Oh, well, there he goes. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no... Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. 
Now we're in the, the quiet area, away from the trash zone. <clears throat> oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Sure? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You face right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sure. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. I'm gonna leave this going for like a minute and see what happens. Oh. Whoa. Bro. Also, I completely forgot. Uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to Free Haircut and Lobotomy. For the recent follow, hope you enjoy your stay in the pack. That sounds like an offer that you can't refuse. Your mind is made up of millions of atoms. This Loki kind of looks like a screensaver. Just have the sound loop on like your TV or something. You said to go to sleep? I'll give it about 20 more seconds. Alright, I think I'm done here. Oh. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Can we, can we do that again? Uh, I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Oh, can't see what the TV show is. Neat. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. The CD is labeled... Gulliday music. Sure. You play the CD. Ten out of ten. Oh my god, you can actually have a play. That that's well during gameplay, that's pretty neat. That's cool. The CD is labeled Spook Wave? Bruh, I need to play Spook Wave.
to some uh, fire CDs you got there, Ghost. This CD is able to spook tunes. Oh. It's just the same as a uh, spook wave, only with less reverb. Oh, a classic spook tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Oh, does he? Hold on, I need to play this one then. Dang, that ambience. It's like my whole body is being spooked. Oh, this one? Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. <laughs> right, bye. Oh my god, it keeps playing. Oh my god, it keeps playing even over battle. What the heck is that music? I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out. This is worse than, than Shiren. No way, Shiren is way less scary. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are winks of fear! Oh, forget it. This beat is too... filthy. Oh, watch- wait! Don't leave me! Is this creepy- is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? I'll never creep again! Oh, there he goes. Oh. Oh. It's a, wait, it's it's a living? Is this Undyne's house? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. North Block Acre, East Hotland. Temi Village. Why is that? Why does that not have a direction? Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. It's a snail, for some reason. Oh, for some reason you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Snail snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. So, so snaileth Sam Buell. I've been long overdue for a second house. Oh. The snail's counting dollar bills. Oh my god, snail racing. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10 gold to play. Okay. Press C to... Okay, I need to... I think Z is my A. Uh oh, oh, <laughs> I'm getting too much encouragement. Oh, looks like you encouraged your sale too much. All the pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Alright, what if I just don't encourage the snail?
Oh, oh well. Hmm. All right, so this leads back here. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's up here. Does it seem like anyone's home? the um dog residue dog item dirty dishes left unwashed by a dog astronaut food heals 21 hp for feeding a pet astronaut let's put the dog residue in there oh okay only so much limited space oh oh there i've got some neat junk for sale Ha! I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Oh, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is, an, sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are you- what are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? That's the Delta- Come on. That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Great name, huh? It's as I always say, Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Emblem's meaning new. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the winged circle above uh, symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. Calling that winged circle the Angel of Death. The harbinger of destruction waiting, for, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. About Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who'd look just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. Crab apple. CT. Cloudy glasses. Is that more defense than... Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's grab some... Looks like a crab. Ooh, sea tea. That actually sounds really good. Be careful out there, kid. Alright, um... Let's see, cloudy glasses... That's... Six defense? 
After you get hurt by an attack, you stay invulnerable for longer. Ooh. That's really nice. So, that one was like 6 defense. Defense of 10, finally... Ooh. Um... Hmm. Do I want the tutu or do I want the glasses? So much stuff I need. I want to get rid of. Um. Hmm. Invulnerable for longer, but with less defense, or just more defense altogether. Choices. Ah, oh, fuck. You know what? I'm gonna go for more defense. I'll put the glasses in here. Do that for the Temi village. Nothing down here. Uh, and you know what? Since. Uh, wait, let me look at the CT again. The same HP made from glowing marsh water increases speed for one battle. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna buy another CT. Just so I have nothing but healing items on this. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives. We surrender to the humans. Send of the greatest magician sealed us underground with a magical spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There's only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Oh. That's some interesting stuff there. This cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Well... I keep trying to adjust the volume because I can never tell if it's either like too loud or too low. Oh. Special enemy Temi has a has appears here to defeat you. I, I want to feed feed Temi Flakes. Temi only wants Semi Flakes. No, so hung- oh. Uh. Oh shit. Temi is trying to glob me! Temi only wants te only wants the Temi Flakes. Hey, wait a minute.
Uh-oh. Henry's trying to glomp me. You flex that Temmy. No, muscles not. Temmy, are you okay? No. Oh. What the fuck? That's an odd way of uh, dealing with that. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. You see, this kind of just looks like the, the right way, and I don't like that. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I shouldn't have done that. Mold bug understands life now. I shouldn't have tried to intimidate the, the, the fucking slime dude. Oh, yep, here we go. Hoi! Welcome to Tem Village! Hoi, I'm Temmy, and this is my friend Temmy. Hoi, I'm Temmy, and this is my friend Temmy. Hoi, I'm Temmy, don't forget my friend. Hi! I'm Bob. <laughs> Rich history of him. Yeah, that's some good, that's some good history there. They feel something. You're filled with determination. Oi, you should check out Tem Shop. Yeah, I agree. Should check Tem Shop. Human such a cute. Statue of Tem, very famous. Very <laughs> feeling of being watched. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here, my trapped here by my high fang. Um, my struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but less no avail.
If only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was open, how would I leave? <sighs> Tem heard human allergies to Tem. Dead okay, Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem. Oh, oh no! Oops! <laughs> I'm so sorry for the Temmy. Tem, watch Egg! Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. It's hard boiled. Oh! <laughs> Oi! Welcome to the Tem shop! Oh god, how do I talk to them? Oi! I'm Temmy! Oi! I'm Temmy! Temmy history! Us Tems have a deep history! Go to Tem Shop! Oh shit, okay. Wait, Tem Flake, Tem Flake on sale? Discount food of Tem! Tem Flake expensive. Tem pay for college! Oh my god, I need- I, I- that's what I'm doing, I'm saving up my gold. I need to help Tem pay for college. Alright, hold on, firstly, uh... Whoa! You got the ribbons? Hmm, I gotta have that ribbons, but I gotta pay for college. Hmm, Tem always want all ribbons. Tem buy ribbon for a hundred and one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stick. Uh, I I think the dog residue might be important later. I don't know. I'll take it. Just. I feel like the dog item is going to be needed for something, so uh, I'm put the dog residue back in. I, I, I want to save up my gold. I want to help Tem pay for college. I knew it was a good idea to go down there. Oh, yeah, fuck, I forgot blue. Damn it. Ah, shit.
shit. I assume those lanterns don't last. Uh-oh. Alright, uh, Washua, clean! There we go, so I can't- I have to unhug mold- uh, mold bug. Oh, this is annoying. Fuck, I need to find one of those lanterns. There we go.
Right, I just want to know like what the other paths did. Okay. It does seem like there's only one way. Fuck, I didn't mean to check. God damn it. <sighs> damn it, I didn't so oh, okay. Hold on. Although I'm curious what happens if I trigger this multiple times. Oh, okay. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> oh, 
All right, why isn't Washua immediately like? Behind you. Uh-oh. Seven. Seven human souls. The power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. We will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back to suffer give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured understand human this is your only chance at redemption give up your soul or I'll tear it from your body Undyne I hope you fight Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Oh. Uh, hey! You're already gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Ah, uh, well, I can't hide in those bushes, so... Whoa. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the whole world all around, that's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there's a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Yo! How the hell did you get away from her?
Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. Yo, wait, help! I tripped! Yo, dude! If you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I thought my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. I'm a bit worried. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Why take off your helmet? You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams! Alphys' history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you? You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again? Let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead? That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone's put their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Oh, okay. I thought something would happen if I walked off screen. That's it then. No more running away. Oh. Unguard. He told Undyne he didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. It smells like sushi. Undyne bounces impatiently. 
For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Undyne towers threateningly. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Undyne holds her fist in front of her head and shakes her head. So stop being so damn resilient! Anyone else would have been dead by now. Oh, whoops. I see now what she meant by that. But I'm determined to. Determined to end this right now. I'm done. Draws her finger across her neck. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her text became a little less extreme. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Die already, you little brat! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Wait, wait, wait. was I supposed to run up? Okay. Well, hold on. Firstly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this. Oh, shh, okay. Uh-oh. 
I think I was supposed to jump out the fucking ice. I was... Come back here, you little punk. Ring. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think it would make great pals. Let's meet up our, ha our house later. Uh... Not the best sign, Papyrus. Sans! Sans, you bastard! <laughs> Armor. So... Hot. But I can't... Give up. Oh, Sans is gone. Oh. What the fuck? Who are you? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was Cersei, so I came over to the waterfall to get a drink. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Cause it's not working. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. Oh. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you feel the determination. Sorry. Sorry. Undyne, like, told us there was, uh, totally a human in the area. So, like, as royal guards are blocking... Us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now? Yeah. Even if the elevators aren't working. Anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Oh, he doesn't talk. Okay. I don't... I don't like this. It's you? It's too dark to see near the walls. Oh! My god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um... Uh, hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. M but, uh... I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... Been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you makes you rule for them. So now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, this is a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot, but, uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, I recently decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, 
Anti... Anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teen team mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. Eh. <laughs> eh. But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. <clears throat> Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Wait, hold on. I gotta think of another. Oh boy, I can't. I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before. Gorgeous. No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Uh, cr cry? Scream is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, uh my more questions. Right, sounds like you get it. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Uh, 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 uh Escort Dreamer. Correct, what an answer. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Uh, 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 metal and magic? Too easy for you, huh? The quest show continues. Oh, whoops. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains. Oh, fucking god damn it. Uh. <laughs> Wonderful, I'm astounded, folks. Fucking gave me the goddamn trolley situation. Or the, the fucking, uh, you know the one. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Fucking 53, maybe? Completely, utterly wrong. Oh, shit. Uh... Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? Rugged. What? Boy, that's embarrassing, huh? The quiz show continues. Ah. Uh... Would you switch a ghost? Heck yeah. Great answer. I love it. I'm gonna eat some CT. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Mm. That's... I... I don't... How was I sp In the dating simulation game, new, new Miss... Uh, Kissy Cutie, what is the new... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys! You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask you a question. You'll be sure to know the answer, too. Oh. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, 
She scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probably a crush. 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. Was Dr. Alphys helping, helping you? The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But... But... This was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darling. Oh, there it goes. Well, that was certainly something. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait, wait. Well, let me give you uh, my phone number. Then maybe if you need help, I could... What? Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. You can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. This fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. You got the instant noodles. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. It's simply a figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Seems like the notes uh, to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. <laughs> the space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Nilfi are tapping just behind the door. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Be just as the DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these human books, all these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are, f are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. <sighs> okay. Because I'm a wrestling fan, I immediately thought of the New Day when I, when I read that. I'm not the only one. I can't be the only one that thought that. All these books are labeled human history. Yep. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Uh, looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. The wardrobe is filled... Alright, uh, I'm not sure if you guys caught that last one, but, uh, yeah, it's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Oh, wait, what did... Where'd Elphys go? Oh, I can't go. Yeah, that makes sense.
I'll have to subsidize Sanus. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Oh, that's gonna get annoying. But now I gotta call up the human and guide them. Vulcan strolls in. Encourage? You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job, but attacks become extreme. Oh, I don't think I should have done that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna call them in a minute. Oh, good, thank you. The whooshing sound of seam and cogs. It fills me with determination. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. Uh, wait. So wait, Sunder plane? Gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything, Baka. You tell Sooner Plane it has nice turbines. What the fuck? Oh shit. So Sooner Plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Oh, dismissively. Approach. Oh. Wait, does it? Because green, I've assumed, like. Okay, it doesn't heal me. Fuck! There we go. I mean, these instant noodles. Heals HP. Wait. If this is telling me how much, though. I'm just everything you need for a quick meal. I'm, just, I'm gonna drink the CT. Oh my god, I've had my claws over the last stitcher for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna call. Dimensional bot? What the fuck? Oh! Okay. Wait, but what's dimensional box, Pete? Oh. Ain't that neat. Tomorrow was calling home huh, before he answered it. God damn it. Uh, hi, so the blue laces, uh, I mean, Alpha's here. Hi. The blue laces won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving. And they, um, they won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, bye. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Alright, so I have to be moving. Wait, there's all the weather down here. Why did she call me? Wait, what? I... Is this what? Press it. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go! It's a photo of a, gar it's a, photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery, glittery filters over it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Alpha's here. The northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I, I think you should go to the right first.
<laughs> oh, wow. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. The waiter work is blocked, so I had to, uh, time to catch a Metaton show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. The human almost looks real. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. This fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. There we go. Wow, you solved it? I'm impressed, you must be a total nerd. Alpha's here. Th that blue laser seems totally impassable. But, but, as a real scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotline Laser database and take it out. Finally, someone turned off the laser. Now that we're free, we can, well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. All right. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Uh, um, I, I think, um... Hey, about the puzzles on the left and right, they're a bit difficult to explain, but... Uh, you already solved them. Awesome! I like this music. Oh. Hey, it's kind of dark in here, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh. First thing, I'm going to take a drink. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Reheat your ovens, because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making... a cake. Okay. I'm gonna try to find an accent and just go with it. Fuck it. My lovely assistant here will, will gather the ingredients. Everyone gives them a big hand. We'll need sugar, milk and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Milk and eggs in the fridge? No way, darling. They'd get cold. Wait, hold on. What order? What order did he say? <laughs> was it milk, sugar, and eggs in that specific order? Or was it eggs, milk, and... Uh oh. Oh, well. Well, no. Oh, well. We're, we're doing this. Great job. Just put them in the middle of this counter. Perfect! Great job! Beautiful! You've got all of the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my. Wait a magnificent moment! How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient! 
Uh oh. A human soul. Help! The robot's going ape shit! Help. Hello? I'm in the middle of something here. Oh, wait a second. Couldn't you make a. Couldn't you use a. Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's. vegan? Vegan. Uh, well, I'm. That's a brilliant idea, Alphys! Actually, I happen to have an option right here! MTD brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Why is that all standalone? Why is that by itself? Well, darling, why don't you go get it? I'm scared. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get in, get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, but that's not climbing, beautiful. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Well, fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I had a few, a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this. Bro, Alphys, you god. There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now get up there. Are, these, are those fucking pizza rolls that he's throwing at me? Uh oh. My bye. It seems you've bested me. But only because you had the help of a brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I love to think what would have happened if to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Oh, awesome, cool. Thank you. Fuck you, Madden. Oh wow, we we did it! Oh we we really did it! Great job out there, team! Oh, well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Wait, hold on, what was that? You saw that, right? On the edge of the screen, like as soon as I entered the kitchen? Wait, now the eggs are gone. Was that Alphys on the edge of the screen? Oh, it's glued to the table. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You feel the determination. Uh, see that building in the distance? That's the core. The source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway. That's where we're going to go. And the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Oh? Heh. 
I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember the name. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? I see just too lazy to clean it off. How was there snow? Toasty bun. <coughs> hey, buddy. What's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 G. Thanks, kid. Here's your hot dog. Yeah, dog. Apostrophe dog. It's served for hot dog. Here, you can have a hot can instead. Another, hot, another dog coming right up. You really like hot animals, don't you? Hey, I'm not judging. I'd be out of a job with all folks like you. Apostrophe, apostrophe dog. It's short for apostrophe dog, which is, in turn, short for. Oh. Another one? Okay. Careful. If you eat too many hot dogs, you'll probably get huge like me. Huge as in super popular, I mean. I'm practically a hot dog tycoon now. Dinner with a girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figuring next to a bowl of instant noodles. Cool skills at 9 to 5 posted a, a picture. <clears throat> Are we posting hot pics? Here's me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of the flexing in front of a mirror. He's wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are uh, pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. You invite Pyrope to hang out. Uh oh. Shit, I really fucked that one up. <laughs> you eat the hot dog? Uh oh. Uh... Uh, heat up, so that the fucking... You're cranking up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. Do I need to make him hotter so that the ropes break? Fucking goddamn. <laughs> Oh, okay, so, as requested, uh, this was apparently what Papyrus decided to, uh, look like today. That's pretty cool. It's boiling. You place the noodles into the pot. Four minutes left. <laughs> Until the noodles are finished. <laughs> Three minutes left. Until the noodles are finished. Two minutes left. Until the noodles are finished. What the fuck? One minute left. Until the noodles are, fin are finished. The noodles are finished. They don't taste very good. Do I have the flavor packet? That's better. Not great, not great, but better. You ain't this a noodle. God, come on. Damn it. 
You crank up the th oh Jesus. I don't know if this is a good idea. Lol, cool skeleton 95. That's a joke, right? The only joke here is how strong my muscles are. Napsa Bluke has sent me a friend request. Yes, except. Seems to have already rejected itself. There's an apron lying on the ground. Will you take it? Sure. Armor defensive 11 heals 1 HP every other turn? Bro! Uh, hi, it's Dr. Alphys. This puzzle is kind of um, timing based. See those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Looks like you only need to press two of them. <sighs> oh, no. It was the last time I tried to help with a puzzle. No, 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 I need your help with this one. Uh, hey, hey, I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm, I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Oh, fuck. So... I don't know, but if I hit the fucking thing again, I'll revert back. Hmm.
You know, I'll call Papyrus. So the arrows flip when you do what? I can't visualize this puzzle at all. Can you draw a picture? Then hold it up to the receiver. I don't have paper. Did you draw it yet? I don't have paper. So I, I guess I can. Alright, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Hmm. I'm trying to think about how I can, how I could, like, because, like, I understand what I have to do. I just need to figure out a way of doing it. Man, if you're here, I'm 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 gonna need some help from you from me, dude. <laughs> because I do have to I do have to wrap this up, and I want to make it to the next save point.
I gotta make it to where that's the. Because yeah, if I could, because if I do that, yeah, no, that doesn't work. No, but then I have to hit up. Ah. Uh. Alright, hold on. I think I think I have it. I may have it. I think I had it the one time I... No, I didn't want to... There we go. Jesus. Okay. Never mind. <clears throat> oh my god. People people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? Lol, that's a joke, right? Why isn't... There's a piece of cheese inside the computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It sucked the table. Always gotta do that from Moose. Anyway. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Also, fills me with hunger. Because I do, unfortunately, have to end it for this part of Undertale. If you all enjoyed what you've seen and haven't already, go ahead and give me a follow over here on Twitch. Turn on notifications for another go live. The links will follow me both Instagram and Twitter so you get notified of any stream updates and announcements that I may have. There's also a link to my YouTube channel that you can subscribe to because that's where I post all the VODs and whatnot. So, if you want to catch up on the Gecko Kujo campaign for Melbourne Monday, you can go to the YouTube channel. If you want to catch up on the Undertale playthrough, part one and part two are on the YouTube channel. I'll put in this nice little command here. There you go. You have a link to the YouTube channel. You can subscribe to it so you can catch up on uh, the playthrough for Undertale, as well as the Gekakujo campaign for Mumblade Monday. But, anyway, I'm happy that I was able to do Undertale's stream today. That means two parts this week, including this one, and the part that I will be streaming on Thursday. So, we'll be continuing our journey through this weird fire hellscape. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, that's where we're going to end it. I hope you all have a terrific Tuesday evening, morning, night, whatever the case may be. And I will see you guys on Thursday for the next part of Undertale. See ya.